You know, I think the guy paid five thousand dollars for this transmission right here. Um, five thousand dollars, and that doesn't count for all the parts that we're going to be taking off and basically throwing in the trash. Now, I want to go over this with you right here before we go any further. Uh, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to remove any parts yet. We want to. We we got to do these tests. The the owner wants me to do these tests on it that we got to do. So. Uh, this we bought because using this uh, bell housing, we found out that uh, by the time we measured everything out, that um, the transmission was in too far, sticking in too far. So we had to get this uh, plate, which is basically a piece of shit. And you can see right here, before we go throwing this across the room, that I had to cut this out. Because they claimed it was made for this transmission, but it's not. So I had to cut this section out and then take that other little section that I showed you and kind of put it in there like a jigsaw puzzle. Now, we can throw it across the room. But I don't want to throw it across the room because my razor's over here and the Camaro's over here. So we'll just put it right there for now until it goes in the trash. Another thing that is screwed on this deal... And this is the problem you have, people. Okay, this is, let me get down here. This is the problem you have. You get on this fucking YouTube shit, and these companies that make this crap, they make it seem like it's the best thing in the world, and this is all you got to do, and look how it works, but they never show you the finished product. All they show you is the piece of shit that they're selling right here, and then 975 shims that you got to put on it, and if you can get it right, if you get it right, it might shift. If not, you'll have to take all the engine out and do it over again. And that, my friend, is your shit. Shit hole fucking part right here. This is called a throwout bearing. Okay, this is made by American Powertrain. This is their deluxe combo race pack bullshit fucking throw out bearing that they sell unbelievable prices I might say probably we're going to go ahead and slide that off of there look at how pretty that is with the blue color the anodized blue and it's got braided steel oh my gosh I want it it's eye candy but hold on we're not done there okay look at all these fucking shims that I had to put on this fucking thing to even think about making it work. To think that this fucking thing was gonna work with this right here. Then on the other hand, we're not done there because this pile of shit's got to come off too. Uh, this is part of their system is this plate that bolts onto the transmission. Uh, so we'll take that off later because all this junk, okay, I just called you junk. American Powertrain, it's a junk. It's going in the trash. But then on the other hand, this is how it's going to go down. I'm the only one in the whole world that's ever had this problem. I'm the only one that's ever had this problem with their stuff. No one else in the world ever has. Just me. Now how fucking unbelievable is that? So for right now, we're going to go ahead and push the tranny out of the way. $5,000 transmission, I might say. We'll put that in the box with the trash. So let's go ahead and get our engine set up so it won't be moving around and swiveling and banging and all this other bullshit. Let's go ahead and get that done. We might have to wait until maybe the body shop girl gets here to finish this little project out. I need to get the engine bolts and put the motor mount bolts in there and then put the stand on that. That's not the right fucking bolt. Son of a bitch show you what I'm going to do here. As you 
you gotta kind of be ingenious to do this kind of shit when you're doing it on the floor. And then, of course, this is gonna fucking move. Why not? Okay, so for right now, we got it on here where it's actually level, it's not balanced properly, but it'll work. Now, the bell housing that I'm taking off is one of these universal bell housings that fits 398 different fucking engines. If you are in the market and you're trying to do what I'm doing, do not get, what is this called? This is called a quick draw brand. Do not buy a quick draw brand bell housing. It's total junk. The thing is two inches fucking thick, two inches thick. You'll never get anything to work properly. You cannot dial this in by any means whatsoever. Uh, the tolerance on this is so sloppy that you can't even put a Volkswagen transaxle on it and hope to go five miles an hour. So if you're in the market for an aftermarket uh, hot rod bell housing, a conversion bell housing like we're doing here, stay away from quick draw. Quick draw sucks. <laughs> Get off of there. Oh, this ain't gonna come off. Now I gotta take those bolts off. Son of a bitch. Do you see? Do you see the situation here, people? And these bolts are fucking five eighths. These are like giant bolts. Total fucking trash. I'm just gonna bend it off. Fuck it. There, okay? Fuck you! I am going to urge everybody out there that is trying to do a job like I'm doing, do not invest your money in a quick draw bell housing for a General Motors. The worst money you will ever spend on anything. This is not even compatible to be a boat anchor. This is where the starter goes. Okay guys, are you looking at the exhaust that's on this car? Well, this is a dual starter bell housing. I had to cut this one off to clear the exhaust on this vehicle. This thing is such a pile of shit, I wouldn't even melt it down and make something out of it. It is junk. Total, total junk. I can't, I can't, there's no other words for it. Stay the fuck away from quickdraw.com bell housings. Total, total trash. Right there. So we're going to go ahead and proceed to take the clutch off. Um, pressure plate, clutch plate. Once again, American powertrain crap. Uh, that's what I'm going to call it. I don't care what they say. As far as I'm concerned, it's junk. But if you talk to them, I'm the only one that's ever had problems with their shit. And you can see by everything that I did, look at that. Look at the way that this fucking clutch was burning up on this. This is bullshit. I've been putting motors and transmissions together all my life since I was like 13 years old. Never have I ever ran in to this fucking type of bullshit in my life. Never. We'll call that trash too. We got to get the uh, piece of shit flywheel off. That's right. We're changing the flywheel out too. Everything. Everything. Everything that was purchased at American Powertrain is going in the trash. Everything. Waste of fucking money. Total fucking waste. This is the fourth round on this shit. And let me tell you something else. This is the final round. My friend Pete is gonna fuck with this. I am done being everybody's bells and whistles to get this shit done.
and that's all there is to it. This is going to fall, so I'm going to let it fall on that right there. That way it won't make such a big fucking deal. Come on, bitch. Get out of there. Come on. The only other thing that I got to do to completely dismantle the situation to start over, I got to take this bearing out right here. Now, the way that we're going to take that out, and we're not going to sit here and watch, you can watch it on some of my other fucked up videos, is I'm going to go get some bread. I'm going to stuff that hole with bread. And then I will take a uh, extension, a socket extension, and I will pound that in there. I will pound it in, and the force of the bread will literally push that bearing out. And this right here, this thing right here, is supposed to be the magic tool that sets it up. I got a lot of shit on my fucking mind, and this is the most stressful shit going on in my shop today, so don't fuck with me. This goes on the bell housing. We'll be back. Light and flywheel? That thing weighs fucking 75 pounds! Shit. Ain't nothing light about that. This fucking pressure plate. Okay, we almost got this out. Uh, I've got a shitload of bread packed in this hole right here. And what you do is you kind of just do that right there. And then the force of the bread is going to pop the bearing out. Okay. Looks like we got to go a little bit more. Some more bread. It's not coming out yet. So that's a 10 millimeter socket. I got an old extension that I never use, and this is basically what I use this setup for. Uh, this is my junkyard tool set, to be honest with you. Um, when I go to the junkyard, which there's no junkyards around here, we can't go to the junkyard here, of course. Uh, junkyards are pretty much obsolete because they're forcing you to buy everything on the internet now. But anyway, back to this. Here we go. Get some more bread in there. Here it comes. Okay. Not yet. Almost. It is very loose. We're gonna run out of bread, people. And we're not using average bread here, guys. We're using the expensive shit. We're using the Lamborghini bread here. All right, we're using the bread from the from the deli. We're using deli bread, not that factory-made shit. Yeah, we're a uh, high-end over here at this shop. Can't you tell? Only the best for the best. That's all I can say. Only the best for the best. Now, this was an American powertrain. I can't blame them for this. This is actually a factory GM. Uh, bearing that I purchased from Napa Auto Parts. Okay. Come on. Come on, bitch. Here it comes. No. Dang it. I used almost a half a load of this Lamborghini bread. Almost a half a fucking loaf. And we're not done yet. This isn't Wonder Bread, people. All right, this isn't Mrs. Beard's. This isn't shit that you buy with all the all the additives and, and preservatives where it makes the uh, loaf of bread last six months. This is the real McCoy. This is real bread here. I thought if I use that, it'd get done quicker. Look at that, there it is. Okay, 
So there's our uh, our bearing, pilot shaft bearing, which we won't be using that. That was a waste of money. We're gonna go ahead and use MDL. Everything we use is gonna be MDL. So let me show you what a half a loaf of bread looks like when it's all bundled up into a ball. Okay, we're not done yet. Now there's a half a loaf of bread. <laughs> we gotta get it out of here still. So, what you're seeing me do is digging out a half a loaf of bread, people. This is a half a loaf of bread just to get this done. Look at that, right there. And that's what a half a loaf of high-end uh, deli bread looks like when it's compressed to get the bearing out of that. <laughs> This, my friend, is what will bring the rats in. And all these little crumbs around for them to eat. We don't want that, do we? Definitely don't want rats in my motherfucking shop. Fuck that shit. And I don't mind if I do. The big rat that I am. Chop, chop, man, come on.